Hi, and um, we have been making this game, and I'd say it's going pretty well, but I don't really want to make drag it out and make lots of attacks, and to just be the same thing over and over. So you can add other attacks if you want, but I'm just going to make it so we lose screen, and screen, and the main menu. Might be too upset in there. So first we're going to make a lose screen. I'm just going to see, if he touches anything bad, he just dies, so... Instead, go here, and we should go lose, and just enter that, get to that, and drag on that, so, whenever you lose, we'll get hit, we'll guess lose, and then we can also hide this guy, and then when the flag works, we can show him, now we get an enemy tank, when I receive lose, can also hide. Now I'm gonna make a different backdrop. And I'm gonna go here when I receive lose, and one flag clicked. Change backdrop to backdrop one, so the one we have. <coughs> like this, I can just make another backdrop. Just get rid of these. Sorry about that, and I can just go out this slot. And I can type anything I want. I'll make it kind of pixely, I guess. And then, yeah, you can just put in your game name. Don't actually put in your game name, but you know, put in whatever your game will be called. If you want, you can add some extra text, like copy and paste of that, put them all there, and the bullets go down or something. Actually, I'll probably do that. It seems quite good. Idea. So if we copy this guy, actually, no, we'll group him and copy him. And go like that. Do something cool here. Group, copy. A backdrop, a paste, a paste. And now we need some bullets, so group, copy, paste, 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 paste. And then we'll also copy the player, because, I don't know. Well, no, so we can have them, like, actually being shot at or whatever. We can be down here. And then we can just kind of shape all of these bullets so they're semi kind of looking towards them. I if I was too much folder. Missile can go here. I mean, I guess the missile can also go like that. That's the background. Move this down here. Make this kind of take up all this space. Flag this happens, we don't want any of this to kind of happen, so we're going to go here, and we're going to also make a new broadcast, start, like that, when I receive lose, we can actually stop all. No, not the ball, um, blue screen. But for backdrops, we're gonna need three. When I receive lose, start. When I receive lose, when I receive start, I'm going to go and flag click. So. Like this. This can be retry. Menu. 
Apes menu, and this is game. On the fly click menu, I receive lose. Leave one more. No. We try, yeah. When I receive start, um, switch backdrop to game. Now I take a button. So buttons are quite easy to make. I like to give them round edges. So I'll fill it in white. And I'll give it a background or shift. If you select the points, like that, like on the corner, and then select this one, then delete it, you get this kind of curved thing. So do this on kind of all the corners, like that. And you're trying to make sure they're even, so the curve will be even. Like that. I'll up the outline a bit. Go like that. Then here, you can click sort and put play. Make sure it's filled in black. Group this and resize it like that. So, in all this code that you have here, you just want to change this to when I receive start. Then the flag is closed on to hide. Actually, we don't need to do it for the ball since it'll hide when he loses. Um, and in turn, you need to do the same. Just take off this, like that. Let me do show. I don't know how you do show. And then, yeah. Go on the button. When flag clicked, receive lose. When I receive start, to show when the flag is clicked, hide when we start, show when we lose. Now, when we click the flag, we get this. I'm gonna put the play button there, and I'm gonna say it's gonna go there. If you want, you can like change up a bit. If you didn't like that, let me just change this since it would have updated for the project. It's not running. There we go. Now we need to do this when the sprite is clicked. We can do a fancy like graphic, so we can do that next time. When this sprite is clicked, I'm gonna broadcast, start, and hide. Now, okay, oh yeah, this guy's showing, we need to have this actually. So it doesn't work in yet. Just keep this uh, up there. Now as you can see, this happens. So we want everything to kind of stop. Yeah, when I receive lose, you need to go, not stop all, but stop a description sprite. And then we need to put this in the other ones. And when you do that, you want to just transfer over like that. So now if we die, there we go, it will stop on this one. We now want the backdrop to change. In fact, we don't need retry, we can just do, um, 
Mm. So now let's die real quick. And this comes up. So if we could play again, it will just run again. It will run all the code again. So yeah, that's pretty good, honestly. That is half solid. How long have we been going for? Yeah, 10 minutes. We'll just finish stuff up next time. So yeah, that's been part four. Again, if you want to add anything, you can. Um, but for today, I think that's fine. So just, yeah. There's going to be one more episode of this. So stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe. Thanks then. Bye.